Viewer discretion advised. What's up, YouTube? Big D here. Time to review Grace Point Season 1, Episode 4, titled Episode 4. Uh, let's uh, get right to it, man. It's a spoiler review. If you've not seen the episode, please go to www.fox.com slash Grace Point and watch the full episode there. Come back at this to your favorite to watch later. Um... Yeah, also, quick announcement, don't forget, I'm also going to be reviewing Constantine this Friday, which is tomorrow. And uh, Z Nation, the TV show I review on Fridays, got renewed for a second season, thought y'all should know. Yes, filled with joy. And also, every Thursday, I review Bones, but this week, Fox was being Dixon, they're not going to air uh, Bones. I'm sorry, Fox, I love y'all. You bring me the following. Anyway, Grace Point, here we go, man. Let's get right to it. It should take me less than a minute and a half to tell you everything that happened, so... Uh, the man who had the number of Danny was named Lars Pearson, and I thought this was not an Easter egg or anything, it's not like a Marvel show or anything, but uh, Beth was running, and in the back it said, hashtag uncle. I was just thinking, oh, what if it's the uncle? One of the uncles did it. I don't know who the uncle is, but hashtag uncle. It's kind of weird. Uh, so we see a hiker, and I love what uh, Carver says, man. He just says, yeah, you're an eager beaver. I'm going to use that. A lot. So Ellie and Carver, they get Dean, which is Chloe's boyfriend, and Carver is in shock, and he's like, you know, doing that type of shock thing. And uh, we meet Mikey, and we found out that Danny was with Dean when uh, they were getting cocaine. Dean was getting cocaine. And Priest threatens Raymond, which is the guy who told, like, Beth, you know, hey, your son says hello and all that from the other side of the other world. And uh, we find out Danny, like, stole from a convenience store, like a, a notepad or something. And Dean was like, not to do that. But, oh, yeah, you were buying cocaine when you said not to do that. Very adultish, mature. So Beth meets Lars, man. Or she said she met Lars, like, a couple weeks ago. And Lars asked about the family. He was like, it's a nice family you got. It's a very beautiful family. <laughs> How much of the little girl, you know? It's kind of stuff like that. Basic human questions. Most of the time. Could have got way more creepier than that, let's be honest. So, Beth can't be naked in front of Mark, which your husband and wife, um, I just can't do it right now. I just, I just can't do it. It's not hard to be naked. I, I don't understand. It's, it's a girl thing. I understand, but, yeah, I, I can't say. Uh, video clip, man. We see the video clip of Danny actually stealing. And Paul used to date Beth. That's what I'm assuming because he has a picture of them like when they were graduating like many years ago. Like she's so old. Like she's 50 years old. Yeah, right. She's like 25. I don't know. She looks 25. She's not. But uh, Sally, buys, I think Sally's the old lady. She buys a chicken. She breaks the neck. You obviously have to do that. Uh, Tom visits Vince. He closes the door. We thought they'd take Vin Tommy because he's... A f like, yeah, Tommy's weird. But he doesn't. Tommy sees the files on Lars and then he gets the number. And he sees where um, Lars lives. Family sees tape, and that's where all hell breaks loose, man. They're fighting, and they find out about Chloe. And Mark's like, nice work, nice work. And then Chloe puts Mark on blast, man. She's like, you don't think I know what you did with that girl? I probably cleaned your sheets and everything. And at least we used condoms and everything. Like, she put on blast, man. I felt bad for Mark. And he's like, best job I ever had, if you get that reference. Uh, and then at the end, em uh, Ellie invites Carver for dinner. Vince didn't show up to dinner with Sally. And promise me. Someone said promise me. I think it was Beth and Mark. Uh, and, yeah, he hasn't told her about the scandal or whatever yet. Something like that. And at the end, a boat is burning. So overall, what did I think of this episode of Grace Point Man, episode four? Honestly, let's start with the cons first. The acting. Now... 50-50 on the acting. There are some good acting parts. But this episode felt a little stale on the acting. Like, the way they were portraying the characters this episode felt like... I don't know. It felt like they took a two-month break from filming and came back. And they were just like, oh, we gotta get back into this stuff. It's kind of hard. Because Carver was kind of out of his element. He wasn't all, like... You know, he just wasn't like a... How do you do this? Ah. He wasn't like, Ellie, you know, do this and do that. And we gotta find this thing. Yeah. Now he was just more like chill and this time he ain't ranting he was ranting a little bit but he's not like freaking ah he's just like ah he's just dinner uh what 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 should i say and it's just like really i mean hey, shut up facebook you know you think you'd be like no i don't want to go to dinner 
I hate everybody, you know, but he's kind of loosening up. It's kind of weird. Uh, it's kind of, you know, I'm not saying the acting's bad. I'm not hating on the actors. I'm saying it's kind of, it's weird. Some of the characters are just, were not the same as last week. Anna Gunn's character, she's kind of, I don't know. Like, oh my god, does my son hate me? It, you're the mom. You say, hey, listen up, you little shit. You're going to like me, and that's all to it. Be the grown-up around here. Don't act like, oh, he's been through so much. Looks like he doesn't care or something. He just looks... I'm just being honest here. Let's, let's cut the BS. Um, Dean's interrogation. I didn't really care for the Dean storyline. Not for any... Don't bring up any... Don't start racial things or anything. I, just, I, don't, I don't like Dean the character and Dean and Chloe. And you think Mark, when he saw them kissing or something, he'd go up to him and be like, Listen up, little girl. You're not going to kiss this. You know? And then now that he's going to be 18, it's like 18, 15. Uh, but, I don't like that. I, no, no, no. Bad idea, sir. Uh, so now the pros. This was a lot of good suspense in this episode. I really did like it. It's an intense episode. Especially my two favorite scenes is when Chloe and Mark blast it out. And when Beth is ranting once they see the video clip and she's like just yelling. And she's like, Mark, you didn't tell me about this. And you know, oh, that was my two favorite parts. I love the ending. I love the last 15 minutes. The last 15 minutes were gold. If you could just cut all the other stuff before... Yeah, that's a great episode, man. I'm not saying it's a bad episode. I'm not done yet. I mean, I love the twist. I love that we found out that... Uh, we found out a lot more about Danny, and he was with Dean, and we found out a lot more, and we saw Lars, and I think that they were revealing so much because we still got six episodes left. And I felt like they this was... Everything of secrets that was in this episode could have consisted of three or two episodes of the next episodes. And I like how they kind of pushed it, but it's like, how much more secrets do they have? Uh... Again, 50-50 on the acting. Half of this was good. Half of the acting was not bad, just uh, weird. Your characters aren't in character. And Lars and Chloe stole the show, man. Lars being all weird, even though we saw him for a little bit, just walking, hiking. He stole the show, man. Chloe stole the show. Uh, Carver stole the show. Those three, man, were very great. So overall, I'm going to give this episode an A-. minus. It's fun. It's interesting, especially the priest threatening a guy. And that priest, I could tell him he's not 100% holy. Looks like he's, uh, looks, I don't know, everyone's going crazy. And then Nick Nolte, you know, <laughs> you know, it's kind of like, oh, crap, you know, now who's going crazy? Hey, Ellie, you know, and all that. So overall, A-, minus, secondarily a B. Thank you so much for watching this episode, man. And tomorrow, don't forget Constantine's Z Nation. Comment down below, let me know what did you think about Grace Point tonight, and I'll see you next week for an all-new episode, and Bones. Spread this along, man, and uh, American Horror Story yesterday at Edward Moldrake. I, I love it. So, overall, this Spock be with you always. Like I said before, Avengers Age of Ultron trailer is out. Insidious Chapter 3 trailer is out, too, I believe so. Anyway, see you all soon. Thanks for uh, watching, and uh, have a great day. Hashtag Respawn. Who killed Danny? <sighs> Fox is blaming Obama. <laughs>